all of these stories, by the way, broke nearly identical time yesterday afternoon. Uh, And then the third major story I would say that is out there is that the ACC uh, rushed to announce their plan for the college football season, and it is pretty much a, a blockbuster plan. Notre Dame, for the first time since 1887, will be a member of a conference Notre Dame will be playing a 10-game ACC schedule, and they will have the ability to advance to the ACC championship game, to win the ACC championship game, uh, to win the conference. The ACC announcing a 10-game conference schedule, and Notre Dame being a part of their conference is a big deal. Also guarantees to the ACC now that if Notre Dame decides to ever join a conference between now and 2036, they will join the ACC. And the ACC also said they were open to 10 games in conference plus an additional game. So they potentially are willing to play 11 games. That additional game would have to be played in state and be out of conference. Well, what does that mean, you might be wondering? Well, It's the ACC attempting to put the onus on the SEC to either keep or cancel Georgia, Georgia Tech, Florida, Florida State, Louisville against Kentucky, and Clemson against South Carolina. Those are all games that are played in state to end the seasons in all four of those states, state of Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, and Kentucky And those are massive rivalry games. And now the SEC will potentially have to figure out what their plan is going forward. There are reports that are accurate, I believe, that there is. In fact, we know this uh, because Greg Sankey came on with us, the commissioner of the Southeastern Conference, a couple of weeks ago and said that he had an 8, a 10, and a 12-game plan uh, potentially that could be executed in order to have college football come back. And reports are that the SEC is leaning towards a 10-game conference-only schedule. Uh, What would that look like? There's been a lot of criticism over the years of the SEC for only playing eight conference games. Uh, This would have the SEC play 10. Every school would add that you were scheduled on your schedule. This would be pushed up and you would play them in 2020 instead of 2021 and 2022. Well, what it leaves open is, is there a possibility for an 11th game or would the SEC just say, okay, we're only playing a 10-game conference-only season? So all of these stories are uh, massive ones. All of these are circulating right now. I will say on the college football front, this is a really, really good sign for college football because we're getting closer and closer to at least the season beginning, even though obviously things are messy in terms of all the details that have to be unspooled in order for the season to happen. And if you go to a 10-game conference-only schedule, one thing that that would allow you to do theoretically is at least create some bye weeks in the event that some players got sick on a team, you could have a little bit more flexibility in when those games would actually be played because you could build in a couple of additional bye weeks uh, into the season. Now, I would think most Southeastern Conference football fans would be fine with doing away with some of the patsies and playing 10 full conference games, even if it meant you were playing 10 instead of 12. Uh, However, it raises some intriguing questions, as I just said, about those four big rivalry games, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Florida, Florida State, Clemson, South Carolina, Louisville, and Kentucky. And it also raises a larger issue out there about other big games that were scheduled to take place against the uh, the Big 12. Among them, I believe, Texas, LSU, uh, and also Tennessee, Oklahoma, There are others of those games as well, but those would be the two biggest out-of-conference games that potentially could be lost to uh, coronavirus rescheduling needs.